Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are discussing the Sisley Friends and Family Sale because my makeup spider sense is percolating. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. As you know, I have my online beauty consulting service. This is a one-on-one -on -one video chat with me where you get to ask me any and all makeup questions you have. So to book an appointment, click the link in the description box down below. Okay, so a few days ago, my makeup sense was whispering like, I think there's a Sisley sale coming up soon. So I decided to email customer service and this morning, Monday, September 26th, I got a response saying, Dear Allison, thank you for your message. We should have a great event starting this week. I went through my email purchase history and it was in early October of last year that they had their Sisley sale. And then this morning I got I'm I signed up for the newsletter and I got an email from Sisley saying something big is coming. So if I were you, I would join the newsletter. I like my makeup sense is just telling me perhaps by the time that I publish this video, the sale will have begun. So let's plan ahead, let's be smart, let's fill up our shopping cart that way when the email arrives saying the sale has started, we can just go ahead and make our purchase. So I'm going to start off with skincare first and then I'll go into makeup. I'll include some timestamps if you prefer one category over the other. So the first item here is the eye contour mask, which I have uh, in my master bathroom. But this is technically a mask that you leave on for like 20, 30 minutes and rinse off. I like to go in with a very sheer thin layer because this is an eye mask that is so incredibly plumping and hydrating at the same time. This falls under the category of express mask or flash mask, you know those ones that you're supposed to leave on for a short period of time and they really just boost whatever they are meant to boost. This one here is for the eye contour. I go to bed with it, but I also apply a very thin layer in the morning. I do this if I'm very tired, if I have a long day, if I have a big meeting, maybe the night before I ate too much salt, if it's like a holiday and you have a bit of wine, maybe some food that's a bit richer. You know the next morning you wake up and you're like a little bit puffy, you just don't look as like glowy as you would normally. That is when I go into it specifically, just to help me out because it really just gives you this like instant boost it just fills up your under eye and just gives you this really intense hydration i would say that this mask helps fight the signs of fatigue that's what it does and it does that because when you're tired everything looks sunken in and just kind of sallow and this just boosts everything plumps everything it really just wakes you up it's like a, a triple espresso for your under eye so I would recommend this for sure. Then moving on to the Black Rose Eye Contour Fluid. So the Black Rose line is a skincare line in Sicily. I have tried the eye fluid. This is an eye cream. So what's nice is that this comes in a pump. So when you get it, you don't have to put your finger inside. You know, sometimes there are jars where you have to sort of decant the product. This comes in its own applicator. So you pump it a bit and you get a small amount of fluid and then the applicator is nice and cooling it feels really fresh and so as you're applying it you get a sort of like massage tool built into the product at the same time i would say that instantly the eye contour feels refreshed feels awakened and rejuvenated a bit and the wand applicator is very delicate because this skin here is so delicate you don't want to manhandle it but it feels just very nice and refreshing and instantly everything looks brighter and more awake and just refreshed in a nice way and it has a lot of the skincare from the black rose line the black rose extract is what helps smooth out fine lines and wrinkles it has padina pavonica extract which also helps soothe any puffiness and also moisturizes it has vitamin e 
it has red vine extract for the dark circles because it also does brighten at the same time it's just a great product this is a product that's been in a lot of top beauty awards like glamour beauty awards like you know those every year they have those beauty awards that different uh, beauty editors pick out it's always one of those and next up is a cult classic from Sicily that I cannot get enough of this is the gentle facial buffing cream this is an exfoliating cream exfoliating mask and it's for every single skin type here so the way you apply this is it comes in a jar so it's a mask it's a bit thick uh, I would say I do this once or twice a week you can sort of tell from your skin you know it sort of tells you how often it needs but I'd say once or twice a week so the way this works is you apply it onto cleansed skin you apply a thin layer face I do face neck and chest you leave it on for a couple of minutes and it does dry down then you go in with lukewarm water you can use uh, cotton rounds like the reusable ones don't use the disposable ones because they'll just disintegrate maybe a face cloth if you want to just help loosen up the debris the dead skin cells the gunk the pollution the everything and as you're applying the warm water and you're buffing the cream you can literally see the dead skin just rolling off of you it's coming off and as you're doing it it's leaving brighter and clearer skin and it just makes your skin look so luminous so incredibly soft and that way when you're going into your serums and your masks and all that you don't have a barrier because the dead skin cells they act as a barrier so that, that your active ingredients that you paid a lot of money for can't really penetrate as deeply so you're going to do a nice exfoliation and then do the rest of your treatments what i like about this is that it's not harsh because sometimes i think some of us have been traumatized with exfoliating masks that they can be really harsh and really abrasive but this has like chamomile extract so it's very soothing it's very nice and it's just great it's a wonderful product uh, next up would be their triple oil balm and makeup remover I love a double cleanse. I love a makeup oil or a makeup balm. I apologize for the construction noises. Only so much I can do. I paused briefly while Mr. Cement Truck went on his way. So I love a double cleanse. So for a day like today where I'm wearing tons of makeup, I go into this here. It's a balm. So you take out some of the balm. You massage it onto the skin. This takes off a foundation, mascara, waterproof liner lipstick everything it just you massage it gently then you take a few drops of water and it turns into a milk and this breaks down everything it removes all of your makeup it does not leave you feeling squeaky clean it also isn't too gloopy this is a technical term because some uh, makeup removing balms and oils feel very thick and gloopy if you know you know uh, but this just removes everything so beautifully very gently just it's a great product and especially for the sale you know some of these items are just staples that we need in every day so that's why i'm mentioning it today okay we are going into a product now that is part skincare part makeup which is our transition into the makeup segment this is the double tenseur this is a powerful lifting and priming skincare product this has botanical extracts and this is a primer for your foundation of course you could use this on its own without going into a foundation or tinted moisturizer now when i first reviewed this i noticed that first of all it makes your foundation last longer any sort of complexion product you put on will last longer because of this now this is meant to lift to firm to just give you a nice um smooth look on myself i did not notice a facelift by any means but what i noticed is i got a lot of comments from people who told me that when it comes to their skincare they look for lifting and firming and plumping across the board in their skincare and when they enter into makeup they continue to look for those ingredients and those effects and so for them they continue with this product here to just continue the longevity of everything that they're trying to achieve which makes sense and i hadn't thought of it in that context 
So in that context, if you're someone who is using skincare products because you want to lift and firm and smooth all of your skin, you should go into a primer like this because it will not give you a facelift, but it can give you a more visible lifting and firming result versus just like a regular moisturizing primer. It is moisturizing and softening, but a lot of the botanical ec extracts are more for toning and tightening. And when you apply it, you can feel the sensation, but not super tight, not uncomfortable, but you can feel that sort of lifted effect. And if you want it for that reason, I would definitely apply it in an upward motion, like whatever areas you feel like need that effect. You want to pull away, you know, fight gravity as much as you can. Now, let's go into eyeshadow because Sisley has so many wonderful and painfully underrated eyeshadow. And these are eyeshadow singles, which is great because when I do think of a typical Sisley woman, I do think of someone who probably is not wearing like 12 eyeshadows at once. More simple, more of a French uh, classic makeup look. So today I'm actually wearing uh, two shadows. The name for this is Les Fito Ombre uh, eyeshadows. These are basically a powder cream hybrid. So they come in a compact and they look like a powder. They don't, they're not liquid or anything, but the formula is this half cream, half powder mix that is very soft, very blendable, very easy to use. So this is number 14, Sparkling Topaz. And this is what I'm wearing today on my eyes. This has to be my favorite shadow that they create, period. I just think it's gorgeous. It has some soft shimmer, but there's no chunky glitter. If you have more mature eyes, you don't have to worry about it, you know, the glitter falling into any fine line or creases, things like that. And then I added a touch of 21 Matte Cocoa. So this is a dark matte brown. Uh, I'll go ahead and do a swatch of this one right next to Sparkling Topaz here. It isn't a hard matte. It isn't dry because it has that cream powder uh, finish. So when you're applying it, when you're blending it, it's very easy to use. It's just very creamy almost, even though it's a powder. And these two go very well together. I used the matte cocoa just in the crease here, and then I applied a little bit of the sparkling topaz, a little bit everywhere. Uh, I also have another matte one called matte taupe. This is a number 15 matte taupe. So they have some mattes, they have some more sparkling colors. It really is up to you and whatever preference you have for eyeshadow. This is a beautiful, cool toned, taupey look. This creates a beautiful, stunning, one-and-done, slight, smoky, French, cool eyeshadow look for a cool French girl look. I love this shade. I just think that the singles are so underrated, and singles are so easy to use, and I have a last single here, which is the opposite of everything that I've mentioned, but I am a woman of duality. So this is number 23, Silky French Blue, because sometimes you need blue eyeshadow, sometimes you need to go extra, and this one here is a bit less subtle than some of the other shadows that I've shown you, but there's a different makeup look for a different mood, and if you are tempted to dip your toe into blue eyeshadow, might I recommend a single, because it's less intimidating. Now moving on to Le Fito Rouge, which is Sicily's answer to a classic bullet lipstick, but because this is Sicily, there's nothing basic here. So the lipstick, the full size, comes in its own red sheath with the S for Sicily. Love that. Then we have this gorgeous gold and black leopard print, and then we have our lipstick. This is number 40, Monaco, and this is amazing. It is almost like geometric. It gives me a geometric art deco vibe. I love that this is cut in just such an extra manner. So Monaco is a gorgeous red. I love a red lipstick. I might go ahead and add some red lipstick in a moment here. 
but this formula is so long wearing. It's a very intense lipstick. So this one here is intense because it's a red. There are many nudes, so if you want something more neutral and nude, it's still going to be incredibly creamy and pigmented and opaque, but the sensation is almost like a lip balm because it's so comfortable. It's satiny without being too slick. This is a different lipstick here, but it's satiny and moisturizing and so saturated. The pigments are very saturated. This is a cult classic. This is another lipstick or another product from the brand that's been in like countless beauty awards for a reason. And I also have a miniature here. This was a gift with purchase for something. And this is number 21, Rose Numea. I'm not sure what Numea is. I think it's possibly a, a plant or something, a flower. So this is, I mean, look at this. It's so cute. I love this little sample here. And this one is an example of more of their nudes. This is more of a pinky nude on me. It's the same creamy, very saturated lip color here. And this one almost gives me a little bit of a mauve color. It's very nice. There are lots of colors to choose from. There are nudes, like your lip but better. There are classic reds. There are uh, plum, berry, coral, orange. It's really just, there's a bit of everything. So go ahead and peruse the list and pick out what works best for you. Now let's move on to what I'm wearing today. This is the Fito Rouge Shine. This is a hybrid of a lipstick, a lip balm, and a lip gloss all mixed in together. So of course we have our sheath here. So I will unsheath my lipstick, my weapon of choice. Now this one here is gold and white. I do have to say that I find gold and white a bit fresher than gold and black. It's just, I don't know, just a, a personal choice here. And this is 21 Sheer Rosewood. This is the lip color that I'm wearing today. As you can see, it looks nice and glossy. So let me go ahead and provide a swatch here for you. Sheer Rosewood is your lip but better in a nudie pink. So like I mentioned, this is a combination of a lipstick, a lip gloss, and a lip balm. This is going to be more glossy and more sheer, as you know the word shine would suggest. This is going to be a more glossy balm-like lipstick. There are different shades to choose from, again, from your nudes to your berries, your plums, your corals, and your reds as well. What's interesting about the shine formula is that these are refillable. So I purchased a full size here, then you go ahead and pull this out and you have your refill. I would just like to point out that even the refill has the Sisley S logo on top. So you take your refill and you click it in place and there you have your lipstick. So this is number 21 sheer, I'm sorry, 41 sheer red love. So I went with duality here. I went with a nude and a red. So what's interesting is that this is called Sheer Red Love, but it doesn't look quite as sheer as you can see. It's really beautiful. I love this formula because you can reapply it and you're adding lip color and lip gloss and lip balm at the exact same time. You don't have to worry about applying a lip balm and then a lipstick over top. This is really you're three in one. So it's very versatile, very great if you're on the go, on the move, and you don't want to rattle around with four different lip products in your purse. You can just keep one. I'm gonna go ahead and add a bit of this uh, sheer red love here because I just want to add a bit more color to my look. It's very simple, very easy to use. A gorgeous color, gorgeous color payoff. I think these don't last quite as long as the classic bullet lip, but these are more comfortable and more hydrating, so you'll have to make that choice for yourself. I also have a Fito Lip Twist, which has the very classic black and white zebra animal print from Sisley. This is number two. I would say, I mean, we have a nice gradient here of the different lip products from the brand. So this is number two. It's very much a nice Barbie pink. It's very nice. I like 
the wand itself. Like it looks like a giant lip crayon. It's giving me like childhood memories of like drawing with crayons, but then you're playing with makeup. It's a bit of, you know, a fantasy in both worlds. So we can see here the gradient of these lip products. I would say the difference between the lip twist and the shine here is that I find that the lip twists are more sheer. They're not quite as opaque. There are other colors to choose from, but um, I don't know. I, I like both, I guess, but I think if I'm going to buy more lip products, I think I would go with the classic bullet lip. I like the glossy ones, but there's something about the art deco inspired lipstick that's just so stunning and so sheer. But if you're looking for something a little bit lighter and more sheer, maybe go with the classic uh, lip twist here. Now let's move on to a blush and the blush that I'm wearing today. This is Le Fito blush and I have the shade number five, Rosewood. So this is Rosewood right here. There are several shades to choose from, from your pinks, your oranges, and like your nudie colors as well. It's a bit like the lipsticks, they have the blush here. So what I like about this is that even though this is like a classic blush, a, a classic powder blush, it's actually quite luminous as well. Like I'm not wearing any highlighter. This is just um, complexion products like primer, foundation, and blush but there is no highlighter here. So this is a very sheer swatch here. And then next to it, I built it up just a little bit just to show you uh, the variance. So you can wear this very sheer, you can build it up. It's very nice texture. It's a blush that's a powder, but it doesn't feel hard. It doesn't feel dry or cakey. It's just a really nice, almost creamy finish. And so I think that's what adds to the luminosity because there's no highlighter here. This is just a very nice luminous blush. You can forego highlighter, but if you want to add some and be extra, I quite understand. It does have camellia oil and also cottonseed oil uh, blended into the blush. So it has some skincare components as well, which is what I believe acts and adds that luminosity. There's also some light reflecting properties. It's just a really great blush. I also have one of their Fito blush twists, which is like uh, a sister of the compact here. So it could be a preference for you. Do you prefer just like a regular powder blush or do you prefer a cream? I picked number two, Fuchsia. So a cream will be maybe a little bit more work. It just depends if you're used to using cream products or not. Let me just show you what fuchsia looks like here. So there are a few ways to use a blush stick like this. Let me just go ahead and give you some swatches here. So this is a more intense swatch, but you could go ahead and sheer it out. It feels powdery and creamy at the same time. Like when you touch this, it feels silky and smooth. It doesn't feel greasy, doesn't feel thick and as you can see, you can work it and shear it out. What some people like to do is they like to go in directly. I personally would use a blush brush. I would sweep very lightly and then blend it out because if you go like this, you might mix up your foundation and everything you have going on. So I would just go in with a blush and then blend it out. I find you have a bit more control and you can see from the swatch here, when you actually blend this into the cheek, it's not as intense as it looks. I think when you see this, you think, ooh, a bit of a clown blush. Are you suggesting that? No, of course not. When you actually wear it and blend it out, it is a beautiful, luminous, and it feels so soft. It feels almost like silk when you blend it out. We also have the Fito Cole Star Waterproof Creamy Eyeliners. These are waterproof and creamy. I have the shade number two, Matte Tonka. So this may sound, you know, a bit dull, but these are very creamy, very buttery, and smudge proof, budge proof, waterproof liners. Matte Tonka is like a dark chocolate espresso color. It's not going to be, um, very exhilarating to look at the swatch, but I am wearing this today in conjunction with those two eyeshadows. And you know, sometimes a very boring looking color, 
looks very beautiful and very flattering. So it's just a staple that, I mean, you need either a black or brown eyeliner, of course, and so now would be the time to get one. And they have a lot of fun colors as well if you'd like to dip your toe into something more sparkly and colorful as well. Now I have two last items to mention. These are both foundations, and I think there should be an asterisk uh, grain of salt here added. This is the Fitote Ultra Eclat, and I have the shade 2 Plus Sand. The asterisk grain of salt here is that I have... I have had mixed results with their foundations, specifically with the shade range. I just find that the shade range jumps a lot. So for reference, in Chanel foundations, I wear a B30 or a B40. If those shades work for you, I think 2 plus sand would work for you because that is the foundation shade that I'm wearing today. This is an oil-free, long-lasting, long-wearing foundation. It gives you a beautiful, like, such a beautiful finish. I think this is the most natural looking foundation that I own because it's a soft velvet matte. It's not too oily. It's not too glowy. Sometimes glowy foundations look more fake because no one looks like a, a glowing disco ball, but this is like a soft velvet. Again, I'm not wearing highlighter, but I just find that it reflects light just in the right places. It's very luminous. I think they have added some shades to this foundation range here. It's still not perfect, but if you wear a Chanel B30 or B40, I think you could wear 2 plus sand because that's what I wear. So this is a fluid foundation. It's not, I mean, it's a bit runny, but not too much. Let me go ahead and just blend it out for you here. It has like a slight cosmetic scent. I wouldn't say it's perfumed or fragranced, but it's just, it has that makeup smell. This is radiant and it really does blur the skin. It just blurs the skin, smooths out imperfections, but still leaves you looking so incredibly natural in a very natural radiant way, like you just got nine hours of sleep and had all of your vegetables yesterday, that type of look. Now we have the Fitote Nude. This is relatively new. This is oil-free and a water skincare infusion. This one here is quite fluid. It feels almost like a serum foundation. Let me, go ahead, let me go ahead and blend this out before it runs down my arm and wrist here and stains everything. This has less of a scent, I would say, than the previous foundation. This uh, is undetectable, but I find for me personally, it was almost too sheer. If I were to wear this, I would wear layer this with a great primer, perhaps a primer that would offer some blurring, um, maybe spot correct a bit as well. I just find that this is undetectable, but almost too undetectable for me personally. I find that it's a bit too sheer. I'm mentioning this here and showing you a swatch. This is 2W1 Light Beige. As a point of reference, this might be for you personally. I, pr I much prefer uh, this one here, the Fitote. I prefer this foundation much better. This one is skincare infusion with a natural complexion. It's supposed to hydrate the skin a lot and it does hydrate. It is oil free, but the coverage, it says, it says it's a sheer com coverage and it really is. It's quite sheer, so I would almost think of this more as like a very sheer tinted moisturizer more than anything else. And perhaps this could be blended or layered with another complexion product just to give you like a very natural, radiant uh, complexion look with skincare components. Well, all right, I believe that is our roundup of some Sisley recommendations. I have a lot of favorites here, a lot of just tried and true old faithful products that i hope you give a try i hope you test these out as always uh, when you shop my affiliate links that does help me out and encourages me a whole lot here on my channel so i will go ahead and create a list of the items that i recommended and provide affiliate links for you to shop during the sale i hope you enjoy it i hope i mean fingers crossed by the time that i upload this like the sale has started that day or very, very soon because it is the time. Like last time it was early October 
and it's practically October now, so I think it's about time for another Sisley friends and family sale. Let me know what you will be shopping for the sale. The blushes look gorgeous, the bronzers look gorgeous. There's a lot of great stuff from the brand, so let me know what you're thinking of purchasing. I hope you take the time to subscribe, and I think that is all we have for today. So I thank you all so much for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.